So there'll be someone who is looking at the work that you've um, submitted, for example, just bear with me one second. So when you've submitted that tending, if you've answered all the questions, you make sure that you've got the relevant insurance in place, that's uploaded. If they're asking you for your um, GDPR policy, you upload that, health and safety policy, maybe your contract of employment policy, your contractor uh, contract, for example, also any, um, for example, what type of staff members you have, what their qualifications in terms of the mandatory training that they have, and also looking at the DBS, and then you go into how you would recruit, what is your recruitment processes, for example. If there, it depends whether it's a temporary placement and or a permanent placement, how you would do your recruitment, and looking at how it would be a successful outcome, given a quality service by the level and caliber of staff members that you currently hold uh, currently at the moment. So the person, the buyer, then gets your submission, then they will evaluate your submission against others. And then whoever it is that is submitted the best, they may say, right, okay, we need four um, agencies. It will tell you. It will also come in lots. It may say lot one, lot two, lot three, lot four, for example, or lot one A, lot one B, lot one C, for example. So they all get labeled according to the buyer and what they're looking for. And sometimes they may ask you to do a pen picture.